if you are sitting higher tier for combined or separate science, you need to know how to work out the area of a curved line. So in this question here, it asks us to determine the braking distance of a car from a velocity time graph. So this is by finding the area underneath it. Now what we're doing is we're talking about this area here but it's a curve. We can't just use any boxes or triangles to make our life easier. We've got to do some estimating. So how we do it, and it sounds like the most basic thing known to man, but it is trickier than it seems, uh, is we are going to count the squares. Uh, so we can make an estimate for counting the squares, then work out what each square is worth, um, and then kind of use that to come to a final answer. Uh, so counting the squares, we've got one, two, three, four, um, and then we've got five, six, and then I'd say seven uh, pretty much complete squares here. Next, we've got to do a bit of estimating. So I'm going to say that this one here so it's, uh, we've got seven so far I'm gonna say these are eight together and I'd say probably this this and this are nine so I'd say seven uh, plus two equals nine squares overall make sure you write down your workings next what is each square worth well each square on this graph is goes up by five and it goes along by one second so therefore if we do five times by one uh, that means each square is worth five meters so to work out the final distance, I'm going to do 9 squares times by 5 metres, and overall that gives me an answer of 45 metres, uh, which is enough for all three marks here.